everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today is our first journaling of 2024. I can't believe it. I actually pre-filmed a ton of stuff, stuff for December, so I actually haven't filmed the video for this channel in quite a long time. But videos have been popping up, so they, they were there as I was taking a little break. But we are back, and I'm so excited because today we are journaling my word of the year. So you can do this for any word of the year doesn't matter. I'm just going to share with you my word of the year. I did pick a verse for it, which I think goes pretty well. There was a lot of verses actually that could have gone with my word of the year. And this year, which so far I'm not doing the greatest at, but my word of the year, which came from a friend of mine, um, well, I can share her name, but it was an author friend of mine, uh, Rosanna M. White. And she had a post on Facebook where she was talking about finding your word of the year and a word that was in her post was focus. It was in bold type lettering. It was in um, whatever the quotation marks. And I was like, that's my word. It literally left off the, leapt off the page at me. And that's normally how it is. I don't normally pray about it. Um, I don't normally have to think a long time about it. I usually get it a few weeks before. Thankfully, I haven't really had to think about it. And the past few years I've had a word of the year. It's been like that. Something just leapt out and I knew that God wanted me to concentrate on it. So this year is focus, and that's focusing on God's word, reading it more since last year. I, I still read 30 books of the Bible, but I have a feeling my focus was not there. And so I wanna focus more. I want to get into God's word more. I have not been reading every single day, but I have been reading more this year than I did last year. So focus is the word, and I think it's gonna be a great word. So before we get started, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together today. I just pray, Lord God, that um, for the words you give us each year, Lord God, that you will encourage us to grow and to focus on the word you give us, Lord God. And even if we don't get a word, it's okay. You know, I never had a word until a few years ago. And um, But just strengthen our relationship with you, Lord, and help us to get into your word more and more each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the verse I have today is in Psalm 119, verse 15 and 16. And it says, I will meditate on your precepts and think about your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. So meditating is also like another word for focus. You're focusing on God's word. You're focusing on his ways. And that's what we should be concentrating on is his ways, his precepts, his ideas and delight in his in his path for us. And so I'm just so excited to be journaling. I have an idea. I think God gave it to me because it came out super quick. I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> like, I have to film a video for this week. I promised you all that I would get this video up. And so God helped me figure out the plan. So for today, I'm going to be using a few different things. I'm going to be using some stencil, not some, just a stencil. And this one I got from Michael's, I believe. I will link it down below. But I have a cloud stencil. I have Distress Ink, which I'm only going to be using my blue color, but we will be using that. So I have that. I have my applicator, which I think I accidentally forgot to take it off from last time. So the color is still on there. And then I have these, which I'm not sure if I want to use, but it's the Tim Holtz Small Talk. And it's got this little clip art. So if it has things that have to do with focus or something, I might go ahead and use some of those. And then I will, I will be using some a Tombow Fudendusuki brush pen, which is my favorite lettering pen, love it. I love this because it's not a super um, long tip. The longer the tip, the bigger I struggle, so we're not using that. And I'll be using a couple of Tombow uh, water-based brush pens for coloring because these are the best for coloring, I love them. Use them for, for coloring anything, coloring books, Bible journaling, whatever. And then, last thing that I'm using is, oh, I also will be using, a micron pen which I don't know what what size I'm gonna use but I will be using a micron pen because these again are great for for writing for drawing whatever you have that you want to you want to do and then I will be using this washi tape so I got this from the kindness of the washi tape store they messaged me actually from my other channel but they sent me some washi tape that I can use and so I just love this orange design I will try to get off the tape so you guys can see it I always seem to lose the tape. Even though I already opened this, I still lose it. There we go, okay, so. This is all just orange flowers. I got a few, quite a few different rolls, but I really like the orange, so that's what we'll be using today. 
took off the wrong side of the washi tape. That's okay, or the sticker. But, so this is the washi tape. It is not sticky, so I can cut out whatever designs I want and use those. So really beautiful designs. I honestly don't even think they duplicate designs in this because I unrolled quite a lot and there was just so many beautiful designs in here. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. So we'll be using that. So to re-roll it back up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a super easy project. Just need pretty much, you can use whatever you have handy. I mean, if you just have colored pencils or crayons, just use what you have handy. You know, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing with crayons and just a ballpoint pen, you know, and stickers. If you want to use stickers, this is, this is my stickers. Um, it's just in washi tape form, but it's still a sticker. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Distress Ink first. So we have this beautiful blue, and then I have two, three different blues, but I think I might use the Salty Ocean one just to give a little bit of a darker blue. Oh, okay. My pad is still there, so... The blue pad must have come from a different blue. Probably this one. Oh, uh, no, not that one. Hmm. Okay, now I don't know what that color came from. It is blue, but hmm, interesting. Maybe it's from my other set. All right, so I have my blue, I have my blue color. I'm using Salty Ocean, as I said, for Distress Ink. I'm gonna go open this up, and then I just dab a little on here, and then I'm gonna pick my size cloud. Let's use a couple of the big ones. So you can, you can color the entire cloud in, but I think I'd like to do the like the like the top half of it, and then I will layer as I go. So let me zoom in so you can see better. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my distress ink. Now I probably should have used my other applicator, but I kind of wanted a little bit darker, and I feel like the original Tim Holtz applicator tends to go on a little bit darker, which is kind of what I wanted for this project in particular. But we're gonna go ahead and do some clouds. So you got the initial shape there. You don't have to do an entire full cloud because then you can go like this. And maybe I'll use a couple of smaller clouds, but you can go next to it and layer on top of those clouds or underneath those clouds. So I'm basically just doing the top half of the cloud shape. You can do a little bit more, you can do a little bit less, you can do the entire cloud shape. I love these cloud stencils. I use these quite often for, um, for coloring books. They're great for backgrounds, like really great for backgrounds. I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can even go over the words because these stencils or this distress ink will not go over the words and cover it up. So you can use it to your heart's content and just go over the words. And this is great for, for just coloring and adding a little bit of extra, extra color to the background there. I'm gonna add some more clouds to over here. So I'm gonna fast forward through this because it's the exact same thing. So we are done with our clouds. I think it looks lots of fun and super easy, like 100%. You can probably use um, a bunch of different items on there. I haven't tried crayons yet, but I mean, gel sticks, gelatos should work fine on the stencils, paint, anything you have with a stencil, because it is a plastic stencil, so you're not going to harm it by using, um, not with not like the paper stencils I usually use. Okay, oops. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use um, some of these stickers from this washi tape and these are on clear sticker back so you won't see the clear backing so I'm going to put one here actually I think I'm going to put the big one here so I'm going to put that one in there make sure it's nice and smooth before I put it down there we go the wrinkles probably aren't that hard to get out but okay and then I have this one to do all right so I have this one taken off okay so Kind of the 
meaning behind what I'm doing on this page is I really wanted to, um, well, the flowers are just decoration, <laughs> but I really wanted to like use the sky as a reference point of like focusing on the things above. Like technically this verse, there is a verse that actually talks about that, but we're not doing that verse today, but just focusing on God's ways, focusing on his ways, his ways are higher than our ways. And so, yeah, so kind of the thinking process behind what I was doing. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my micron pens because I just wanted to add something a little bit extra to this page. So I think I will use my, this is my zero one um, number in my micron pen. So I'm just going to use this, which my, my tip is starting to go, but I just kind of want to add a couple of balloons going on, which I might have actually done this wrong because the distress ink might take over the balloons, but that's okay. You know, it happens. So I'm just going to draw in a couple of balloons and just kind of go wherever I want to go. So I'm going to do a couple of balloons over here and I'm going to do a couple of balloons over here. Just kind of floating amongst everything and I'm just gonna draw in my balloons I might actually do no I thought I was gonna do a thicker tip but I don't think we are so let's see I usually just draw triangles that's the easiest way to, for me to do balloons on the top of my strings is just to draw a little upside down triangle this is great for those of you who don't know how to draw balloons and they don't have to be perfectly circular I mean balloons actually are more oval than circular although no actually I lied Helium balloons <laughs> can be any shape. The ones that you blow up are usually regular, so so they don't have to be perfect. And I know mine will not be perfect because drawing balloons is not my forte. So usually some look like they're blowing in the wind. <laughs> and that's okay. Because of course it is wind blowing, so they don't have to look perfect. You can just say these balloons, you know, if they're pointing oh that one was a little skinny guy <laughs> poor guy but you can say you know the wind took that one in that direction actually those balloons actually aren't bad those actually might be my best balloons I've ever drawn because <laughs> I don't normally draw balloons very well that one was a little skinny and this one looks like it's floating that way but that's okay all right so I'm going to use pink maybe not because I forgot the flowers are orange <laughs> uh, let's see what other colors I have in my repertoire here I do have orange I don't know if I actually have orange with me here. I think I'll have with my pastel colors, which do not include orange at the moment. Um, they're in my other container. Um, I could also do a gold gel pen, but that would take a long time. Just realize that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, I'm just going to stick with, with pink. Yeah, I could do green to go with the leaves, but I think just pink balloons. So I'm just going to go ahead and color these in. And as I said before, the Distress Ink might show through these, but that's okay because, you know, clouds can show through the balloons because balloons are kind of see-through. So it actually actually makes it look kind of cool when you do the clouds first because you can see the, the clouds behind the balloon and that makes more sense, especially with, um, with the ones that aren't made of like aluminum or whatever they're called. But yeah, so these are definitely ones that you blow up by air and not by helium. All right, so yes, so these are Tombow brush pens. If you didn't know, these do not bleed through pages. These are thicker pages, but I have used these. Um, just the lighter shades though, not the darker ones. Those ones will be bleed a little bit, but these lighter shades, like the pastels, will not bleed through. So you can use these for coloring or whatever. I've used these in my thinner Bible pages. Just do not use the darker shades and don't go over it like a bunch of times either. Just do like one thin layer and they won't bleed through. So I will show you. Hopefully it won't make me out to be a liar. Okay, just has a little bit of shadowing, but no bleed through. So yay for balloons. Okay, so we have our cute little balloons here. I think they look absolutely adorable. This is just kind of a cute page to kind of get me excited for um, our word of the year. All right, so what am I doing now? Oh, yes, I do want to put part of the verse down. Let me first cap my scissors because kept scissors are not safe especially those ones <laughs> okay so let's see i think i'm gonna put my verse down first so i don't i think i'll just put it up here in this section so i did highlight it already um i think i'm just gonna put uh let's see i think i'm gonna put 
I will meditate on your precepts and think about your ways. If I could fit all that. Maybe I'll just put, let's see. I will not forget your word. I actually like that one. So let's just put, I will not forget your word. I like that. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead and look in my little stickers here and see if there's anything that kind of fits. I kind of want to just stick with the white. I don't think I want to do the black background. Yeah, just the white, I think. I like this one. This is be open to whatever comes next. I'm going to kind of, you know, just be open to what God has for you. So I definitely like that one. So I'm going to use that one. So we'll use that one. We'll use, let's see. I like this one, not all who wander are lost. That's one of my absolute favorite quotes. And I just feel like when you're with the Lord, you're never lost. You know, he, he has us. You know, it might seem like we're lost sometimes, but he has us. And I just really like that. I like this one. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. Or the presence of the Lord. Okay. Oh, this might be too big to fit somewhere. It's like a ginormous quote there. Didn't realize how long that was. Well, I could cut it in half, but that's okay. Oh, sorry. You guys can't see what I'm putting up there. That is always good. I'm going to put this one in. So the adventure begins. I really like that one. So just focusing on God's journey, God's path for you. So I'll put that one there. Let's see what else. I like the stay strong too. Stay strong and I also like the be brave too. You know, always got to have a little bit more bravery and God will help us with that. And we ask him for it. It's always a good thing to ask for, right? Just a little bit more bravery. <laughs> I'm still going to put everything has beauty. Because whatever God created, that's all beauty. Whatever he created. So definitely I want to put that one down. And I think I am pretty much done. What oh, adventure waits for you? Or awaits you? And let's see. Oh, folks. Oh, perfect. This one says focus on what's important. Huh, that is perfect. Okay, so I really do like that one. So I'm going to put this one actually closer to the verse. So focus on what's important. That's actually perfect. And I'm going to put adventure awaits you right here. So we got kind of a whole bunch of little sayings around. I think this is cute. Okay, so we did our page today, which concentrates on the word focus. So I really like that. And you know what I'm going to do actually with that word focus? I am going to take this micron pen. And I am going to, hopefully without smudging anything, I am going to box it in because that way we can kind of remember that a little bit better that our word is focus. I like that. I like that a lot to mark that down. Oh, and also we're going to put the date down. So the date is, I think the, let's see, well, I'm filming this a day ahead, so January, I think it's the 16th still, and you'll see this on the 17th. So, yay. This is actually my first, I think my first Bible page of the year. I have not done one a week. So, <laughs> like I said, I was going to in the beginning of this year, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get back on track. All right, so this is our page. I think it looks super cute. I think it was lots of fun. A very simple page to just work on and have fun with. So, yeah, so let's just open this baby up. Because I mean, you can see it straight on because the, the thing was kind of in the way. All right, so that is our page for today. I think it really turned out just a lot of fun and really cute. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Let me know if you did something similar for your word of the year, what you journaled. Um, let me know your word of the year if you don't mind sharing. If it's personal, that's okay. You don't have to share. Um, okay, but I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will see you all in the next video.